At Drip Depot, we want everyone to enjoy how wonderful drip irrigation is. We realize that for someone without drip irrigation experience, the task of installing a drip irrigation system may seem confusing and at times frustrating. To eliminate the confusion and frustration, Drip Depot has created a complete small farms kit that includes everything needed to create a working drip system for small farms. In addition, Drip Depot provides detailed installation instructions for each kit, online video showing proper installation techniques, and a friendly customer service staff always ready to help and answer your questions. To attach the drip tape to the header row of tubing, a hole must be punched into the header row of tubing using the 400 series punch. Now that the hole has been punched, the barbed end of the takeoff valve is pushed into the hole. You should hear a popping sound once the fitting is seated into the tubing. Our kits utilize 400 series tape fittings because they have a larger opening which allows more water to run through the fitting, this being critical when using long runs of tape. To attach the tape to the takeoff valve, screw the locking nut backwards exposing the barb. Then push the tape over the barb and screw the locking nut forward, locking the tape into place. Repeat the process shown here to create as many rows as you need for your system. Each row of tape needs to be capped at the end. To do this, use a tape end cap. Screw the locking nut backwards, exposing the barb. Then push the tape over the barb and screw the locking nut forward. This will securely fasten the tape to the end cap. Keep in mind when planning your small farm system that for every row of tape, you will need one takeoff valve and one end cap. Drip tape is flat in appearance. However, when water is run through the tape, it becomes round like other types of tubing. When working with drip tape, we recommend a 15 PSI pressure regulator as higher pressures can cause the tape to split.